Thanksgiving dinner, my grandmother asked me, what the heck is this Bitcoin stuff in anyway? Right? And I said to her, do you remember when Visa cards first came out? You were used to paying with cash or with a check, and then a Visa came out. It was this weird payment system that you didn't understand. And she said, yeah, I remember that. Bitcoin is just the next evolution of another payment system. Press yourself, Nakamoto was the foundation. Guys, Nakamoto Crypto here. Cardano and Litecoin are working on something huge that could impact their prices on a positive light in the near term future. Cardano and Litecoin are investigating a new cooperation to establish a cross-chain communication, smart contracts compatibility and increase their scalability. This could be made possible by a so-called velvet fork, but further investigations must be completed before this happens. As Crypto News Flash has already reported, Cardano's founder Charles Hoskinson already launched the idea of discussing a closer partnership with Litecoin in July of this year. There are several possible application models which are discussed in detail in a new article by Litecoin Foundation Director David Swartz. Mr. Hoskinson tweeted on July the 8th of 2020 at Satoshi Lite, it would be great to do something together. I love the idea of testing cross-chain communication between Litecoin and Cardano. We got a lot of ideas and I'm sure you guys do too. Swartz explains that Cardano and Litecoin could unlock new futures through a velvet fork and that the participation of the miners in the network is completely voluntary. This could improve cross-chain communication, smart contracts compatibility and scalability in the long term. He describes that the far-reaching implications for both cryptocurrencies need to be further investigated. Given the opportunity to reach and provide input into the feasibility, pros and cons of such an endeavor, I have a number of informative exchanges with Charles Hoskinson and his team on not just what a velvet fork is, but also how it affects the base code and what it would mean for the potential continued growth and utility of Litecoin as not just a store of value but also a mean of exchange and a method of settlement within smart contracts. This could be big as Litecoin could be introduced into DeFi. According to Swartz, a velvet fork is neither a hard fork nor a soft fork, but is simply a new code that is added to the base, similar to a protocol upgrade, but no majority consensus is required. All miners on the fork can continue to work as normal, regardless of whether they have implemented the upgrade or not. They can decide for themselves on whether or not they want to participate in it. It will allow clients that upgrade to the new rules to still be compatible with those that do not and adds no rule modifications to the consensus layer. Swartz further outlines that his results are particularly promising in the research area of NIPO POWs which stands for Non-Interactive Proof of Work. NIPO POWs allow blockchains to work like an API, allowing cryptocurrencies such as Litecoin with a smart contract on a blockchain to interact with smart contracts of other blockchains such as Cardano or Ethereum. Basically, the smart contract capable blockchain validates the NIPO POW used within the Litecoin sidechain that has the Velvet fork and added to allow for this action to take place. By using NIPO POWs, so-called SPV wallets can also be used. They only need to download the block header and not the whole blockchain. Swartz calls upon the Litecoin community as well as Cardano to further explore these ideas in order to explore and test further possibilities together. Velvet forks can also be used by other projects and, due to their flexible deployment, offer a practical tool for implementing protocol upgrades without having to achieve a majority consensus. According to Swartz, the scope of application is not limited to Litecoin or Cardano but the entire ecosystem of cryptocurrencies and can benefit in the long run. What do you think about Litecoin and Cardano working together, exchanging ideas in order to migrate Litecoins into the 
proof of stake system by using cross-chain communication and velvet forks. We already seen something similar to this with Bitcoin now being introduced into DeFi by means of WBTC, which stands for wrapped Bitcoin. Will we see a wrapped Litecoin someday in the future as these OG POW proof of work coins are slowly moving into the proof of stake system let us know in the comment section below like the video share subscribe for some daily crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out bitcoin under eight thousand dollars buy it bitcoin under five thousand dollars buy it bitcoin over ten thousand dollars buy it bitcoin is over twenty thousand dollars buy it Bitcoin under eight thousand dollars. Buy it. Bitcoin under five thousand dollars. Buy it. Bitcoin is over ten thousand dollars. Buy it. Bitcoin is over twenty thousand dollars. Buy it. Best performing asset in the last ten years. True. Look into crypto. We need volunteers. Uh -huh. No need to tiptoe. It won't disappear. Do your research. History made it clear. Come on.